Hey everyone, it's Casual Jake, uh, cracking open another cold one and bringing you another deck today. One that is a, a brew, if you will. I'm not, I am definitely not a brewer. I definitely love to play lists. I love to learn lists, um, but I've been really interested in doing something with uh, a card in particular after I saw it um, while I was testing another deck that I, I kind of want to take an archetype and kind of brew around it. So it's going to look similar to a lot of lists, but with, with some with some choices that I've made that probably aren't good. So make sure you go down to the comments after you like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Go down there and tell me what you think about the deck and how it can be better. We are playing Death and Taxes, which is why we're calling it Casual Death and Taxes because it's probably not very good. All because I saw this card, Camball Console of Alex. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about how great this deck is in the current meta. It's great against blue-white control um, if it's able to resolve. Um, it's great against anything that's casting non-creature spells because it's whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, they lose two life, you gain two life. Really goes hard against Phoenix, goes hard against the control matchups, goes hard against a lot of non-creature based decks. And so I wanted to do something with Abzan, uh, specifically Abzan, Collected Company, Death and Taxes is kind of what it just felt like. So of course we're playing the four Collected companies in the one drop slot we are going straight ramp we're trying to get that collected company out we got three copies of elvish mystic four land of war elves we have some declarations in stone to get rid of things um thalia great card to tax our opponent out. voice of resurgence um just a good card to stop them from casting cards on our spell or if they do we're going to be getting creatures out of it this card is an all-star running four of i think really one of the only four ofs in the deck is a lot of three ofs but are kind of a maria great not only because it's non-creature spell but each player can't cast more than one spell and non-basic land our opponent's control enter tapped this card just hoses so many things from lotus to phoenix like it, it they have to deal with this or they're dead and by the time they deal with it usually we have other things to do elite spellbinder are going to be able to come in be a 3-1 flying threat while also um taking their hand and making it more expensive to cast their stuff one copy of wedding announcement it's a little spicy i thought it was cool gets us some bodies on the board and a um you know potentially some card draws well some other things rumor gatherer is my other card advantage engine here when one creature Creature enters the battlefield we get to scry one and if it's the second time we just get to draw the card the reason why i like this one over something like bygone bishop is because it's not when we cast the spell it's when they enter so we are going to proc things off of collected company for this four cassettes uh four play uh full play set four copies of skyclave apparition to for removal three copies of cam ball of course we're doing three because it is a legendary then we have torrens here so we have torrens who is going to create more bodies whenever we cast creature spells and then hopefully train and get those bigger awesome sideboard here um just you know little pieces here for different decks and uh let's go play it and see what happens uh this again is a casual jake pseudo original an archetype that's already you know working on this is my version of it let's see how it goes all right and here we go into match one not starting off super hot when we roll a one um and not seeing any green sources of mana again i did also construct this mana base so uh <laughs> yeah you can yell at me in the comments don't worry i understand so we're gonna mulligan this opponent mulligans as well much much better uh stuff going on here so we're gonna go ahead and keep this i think we're gonna keep the temple garden and the concealed courtyard so we can make sure i have the double white for that skyclave Opponent just uh, messaged me, he said, oh, yeah, they mulligan into the same hand. We're going to keep our hand. Apparently, OMG is censored uh, by MTGO. You learn something new every day, don't you? Speaking of, hold on, there is something. Usually there's something here that blocks that. Hold on one second, y'all. Opponent is still mulliganing. I put a card on the bottom. So sorry, y'all. All right, opponent is good to play. They're keeping into six, it looks like. Darksteel Citadel, all right, could be. Um, could be some nonsense uh, with Insole, but it could also be, there's a Metalwork Colossus deck that I've been seeing running around, which looks really cool. We'll start off with a turn one elf and go from there. I feel like this is the, the Colossus. I feel it, all right? So I'm actually gonna go ahead and we have it, so let's go for Camball to try to insole or something. They're gonna get a little little punished for it from there. I just think Camball is such a cool card. I didn't even know it was Pioneer Legal until it got played against me, and I was like, oh, I, I wanna play that in a deck. That sounds like fun. Ooh, we have a spectator in here. The things you notice on the MTGO uh, client. 
All right. Ooh, so we see something Demir-ish. Bag of holding, yeah. And there we go, we already get a cam ball um, trigger right there. We take those. Okay, and they activate their bag of holding. They're gonna draw and discard. They discard bone saw. Yeah, this is like a is this like an affinity kind of list? Bone saw, that's an interesting one. I kind of want a skyclave apparition, their um, bag of holding, but I also kind of want a Thalia. Um, I think what we're gonna do, Campbell might just make this a non-game. Oh no! Um, they're like Campbell, Campbell too good. So Campbell not working for our opponent, so they just scoop it up. Um, too good, too good. Okay, is Campbell the answer? Um, to Pioneer, did we just solve Pioneer? Maybe. Um, there we go. Let's let's see how it goes. They just they just said not at all. It just wasn't gonna work with their deck. So I guess we count that as a win. I don't know. We'll see. So it turns out Campbell's really good. Um, and we lose the die roll, but does it matter when you have Campbell, which we don't. So we're gonna go ahead and mulligan that hand. Ouch, another really bad hand because there's no green. So wonky mana base kind of biting us in the booty. Gonna go ahead and keep this. I'm gonna put back one temple garden. I'm oh, gonna put back two cards. Ooh, cause we mulligan to five opponents. Like, we're just gonna keep our seven. I think wedding announcement also goes back, and we'll go from there and see what happens. Hopefully, we draw another land and can get uh, some fun stuff going. Ooh, shipwreck marsh. Okay, all right. I see you, opponent. Go ahead and go temple garden. We will pay the two because we are playing land of war elves. And we'll pass the turn. Okay, opponent gonna opt. Ooh, maybe like a Demir control kind of thing. Or I've even seen Grixis Phoenix going on. So that's been kind of interesting. Um, I kind of want to play this Voice of Resurgence. But ooh, Archon of Ameria is really, really nice. That can really mess them up, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this on white. I think what we're gonna do is just go ahead and play this Archon. This Archon shuts off so many spell decks. Like, it's just, oh, it's so good. Now opponent might have a kill spell for it, but um, we're gonna we're gonna make them use it. We're gonna make them have it, as they say. And uh, speaking of making them have it, let's go ahead and play this on black. And let's go one, two, three, and let's see what you got, opponent. Sinister sabotage, negate, memory, deluge, narset. None of these really. I'm hating. Maybe the memory deluge, right? So that way. I kind of want to get that. The Sinister Sabotage isn't great, but now we can just play around it. So, since Memory Deluge is going to be their uh, main form of card advantage, I think we'll be fine. They can resolve an Narset. I'm okay with that. And Narset has helped them dig a little bit, but... Um, Alright. But now we know that they have the Sinister Sabotage, so we'll keep an eye on, on that. Now let's just attack here. I'm down to 11 and let's go for it if they counter it great if not even better cool yeah, i think we just get rid of the sinister sabotage let's pick apart this hand here i think we're gonna see crippling fear oh no that does hurt off the top opponent good job we extend it a little bit but it do be like that they say let's go ahead and go white play our friend here what a friend we have in voice of resurgence not the worst in this matchup considering opponents probably gonna want to play at uh instant speed and there's the narset that they don't take up oh, interesting okay upkeep they're gonna draw a card well, each player draws a card then discards a card whoa they got me there's some cool cards that actually like when you're forced to discard and do stuff like what's it loxodon something that could be fun in the sideboard. We don't have it, but uh, that could be that could be fun. I could see that being fun. It's also uncounterable. I don't be the worst to put in the sideboard in the future. Okay. So we don't we skip our draw there. Which happens. Go ahead and Thalia. I think we just gotta go face. We gotta finish this finish off opponent as soon as we can. Take me down to nine. Definitely extended there. We could have played it a little bit more conservative. I should have, should have thought they're probably playing some kind of sweeper. Um, but go you, opponent. 
You had it. And I mean, it was it had to be off the top, right? We were looking at their hand. We knew a lot of their cards. So Crippling Fear off the top feels bad, but eh. We have played around it. Yes. All right, opponent go ahead. It's going to cycle their sensor. Opponent looking for answers too. Doing what they can. They Narset. Go to their end step. Going to lock me out. That's cute. That's cute, opponent. It's cute. So if we don't kill them, like, immediately, then we're dead. Yay. That's cute. So the Narset was the problem. Okay. Oh, not the greedy mana base. Oh, got me. <laughs> Got me. Well, if we want to continue playing, I guess we got to kill the Narset. Man, they got my green source. And I thought we were the death and taxes over here punishing me. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a, this is this is a no bueno. All right, let's see what we can do. I clave appetizer. Isn't going to do much. Yeah, we're ever going to attack you, opponent. It's good to have some extra cards. So we have some choice if they do Gaia Reach. Okay, opponent down to two cards in hand. Declaration in Stone isn't great for us. Doesn't do anything against our opponent. So we'll swing in for one. And let's see what opponent's got. Memory Deluge. Good for you. You earned it. You, you really did, opponent. And dig through time. Of course. Of course. Well, we can sideboard in some graveyard hate. <sighs> yeah, good good game. You, you, got, you got there, opponent. That's all good. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Okay, we can do stuff with this. We can do stuff with this. So we'll bring in two Thought Seas. And two Rest in Peace. I think... What's not gonna help us is Skyclave. We can get rid of two of those. The Thought Seizes. We're running two Rest in Peace. I think these Declarations and Stones can just go. We'll get rid of three of those. So we, need, we get to add one more thing. App well, the Apparitions can get a Narset. Which is nice. So maybe two of those. Get rid of a Rumor Gatherer. We haven't got to play that one yet. And let's see how that goes. All right, we get to take the play this time. Hope we don't have to mulligan to Oblivion. And Archon on turn. Oh, but there's no white mana. No white mana. Yeah, I think we can keep this. I think we get rid of an elite spellbinder. And we go from here. Look, opponent. Mulligan's down to five. Okay, that's good news for us. Well, we had to mulligan a bunch, so just don't, it's only fair. Uh, nothing on turn one, so we can go ahead. Not pay the life and then pass my dog is really digging for spot right now. <laughs> Swamp. Sounds good. Here's a blooming marsh. We'll go ahead and we'll just show you right now what we're about. Doing no graveyards today. And we are going to pay the two on this because what we want to do is we want to see if we can get our buddy Torrens out. Or it might have something to say about that, which is okay. Oh, they're going to let... Okay, so that gets to resolve. Go ahead, go to our end step. Opponent takes their turn. And let's see what you got. There's that guy who reached Sanitarium. Of the Wretched Sorrow. Okay. He has X damage to a creature or Planeswalker. Yep. That is a thing you can do, my friend. Okay, now that they're tapped out, it's time to see what is our best play. <sighs> While well, Elise Spellbinder really messes them up, Camball is like, lose life, we gain life whenever they cast spells. Actually, I, I do think Elite Spellbinder is a pretty good call right here. Um, because we can just get a look at their hand and see what we're dealing with here. So there's a Narset, Nighthawk Scavenger, Crippling Fear. They don't have the mana for crippling fear. Sinister, they don't have, they don't have, oh, man, they are stuck on this no color. So what's the worst thing? Probably the Narset lock is pretty bad. Crippling fear also not super great. Um, though we did do all that. I think the crippling fear. Yeah, we need to get our bodies there. Narset we can kill, right? So we'll do that. Now, however, they can... Well, I guess it might have been a good... Well, Nighthawk Scavenger, they need another... Okay. Now they have Narset. Now they have... Okay, that's fine. 
That is okay. And I'm gonna disfigure. Okay, that's fine. I think that's gonna be just fine. But we can do. Ooh, Archon's real good. Archon's real good. I think we're gonna go ahead and play Archon. So this figure is gone, Narset's gone. So they have a Sabotage, a Nighthawk, and the Crippling Fear is in Sile Zone. Keep an eye on that. And they reveal a Narset, okay. So opponent has two Narsets. Okay, we will draw that Redain's pretty nice too. Doesn't really stop lots of their things. The Sinister Sabotage, they have that mana up. And so I think what we do, we go to combat. This opponent has something to say about that. They have three cards. I'm pretty sure it's Narset, Nighthawk, and Sinister Sabotage. Go ahead and attack. Attack them. What don't I want them to counter? I think the Wedding Invitation. I'm okay with them countering that and then keeping our other stuff. So we'll go white and play Wedding Announcement. Fine. We are fine with that. I have a Nighthawk and a Civ and a the thing the thing that I can't think of the Narset. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> that one spell opponent. What's it gonna be? Okay, they might have something else up their sleeve. They might have another counter. Oh, they're saving it so that we can draw a card and discard. Part of an elf. That's not your spell this turn, opponent, which is fine. So we get one play they won't have a counter for it i think camball is the is the play we'll attack them for two they're gonna be looking to get that nighthawk scavenger down i think soon blink fear yep i mean when you got it you got it right opponent oh i forgot they had an exile i should have counted that so that was that was my bad they totally had that like we knew about it <laughs> we're gonna really they got any other big stuff? We got something for them. This Nighthawk Scavenger is going to be itty bitty. They're not their guy reach. Okay. Okay, opponent. Well, I hope you have a plan for this. Yeah, I think so. I think we got to get Narset on this one. Get her out of here. So we can actually draw cards. Oh, man. Another one. Uh, that was the one from the Exile Zone. So they did play the other one last time. Wow. Well, we are in a collective company. Oh my gosh. Opponent looks like they're going to get there on this one. And there's another Narset. Oh, oof. Oof, this hurts. Yep. Oh my God. Yeah, we're, we're done here. They got us on that one. Good game, opponent. They didn't really show me a win con, but I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> they shut us out right there. Very, very good game. All right, here we go into game three, and we cannot win a die roll to save our life. It'd be like that, though, sometimes. Temple Garden, Land of War. We get a land, we get an Archon on turn two, which is, like, great. But that's with if we get a land. So we're going to mulligan this one. Uh, much better on this. A guaranteed, guaranteed on turn three, or on turn two, if it survives. So we're keeping the lands. Um... We can get rid of a elf if the elf gets destroyed. We still have some options, so I'm okay with that. We love you, fast lands. Ooh, overgrown tomb. Not unlikely for the elf to die. Unless the opponent plays their own elf. <gasps> Death touch? Death touch? Here we go. Okay, this is some fun stuff. We'll play our elf. We just draw a dork anyway. And pass the turn. Oh my gosh, I swear, if you play Finn... <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> yep. You will get your free damage. No blocks here. If this is Death Touch Tribal, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for them. I'm happy for I'm happy for everyone. So let's go white and whatever so that we can play Archon and just slow this game down to a pace that we can capitalize on. Man, we haven't seen any collected companies as of yet. And we do run four. I promise you that. Okay. Plays another um, Death Touchy Knight. I think next up we play this Thalia. Um, to maybe tax any kill effects that they have. But also because we can we get first strike. Alright. So I believe 
that yes, we go to attacks. Throwing yeah in there. Get in for two. And then as mentioned before, Thalia first strike uh, beats death touch. Our girl Thalia, always, always there for us. Ooh, okay, so here we go. So this is the one when a creature with death touch attacks, each opponent loses one life again. That's so cool. Yep. You did it. You can only cast one spell a turn, opponent. They're realizing that. There you go. All right. Let's see. You know, a land would be nice. I'll be, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. A land would be nice. But that being said, we are going to attack for two in the air. Go Archon. But I think what we play is a Voice of Resurgence. Um, so that we can block when it dies we get big boys all right opponent let's see what you got to get through this you're gonna start doing the attacks all right yep three triggers ouchie ouchie we will block one of these let's first strike take the rest go to 13 oh, opponent you gotta pump your guy up to two creatures game where this current just don't draw a card that's pretty sweet all right but I like I like your deck oh I should have blocked with this too that was silly of me I was supposed to block with this that's the whole reason I played it all right well we're not getting to the rumor gatherer uh, which it's it, that's fine it'd be like that so we'll go well, we're actually going to attack with this one because we want to start doing some Dimaggio. Actually, we can hold it back and then kill that. Yeah, so let's just go to attacks. Swing for two, three, and then we're going to go blue and white. For another voice, double block. Get that out of the way. All right, opponent, let's see what you got. Got a lot of cards in hand. Only one spell per turn. Love this card. So good in the main deck right now. All right, another death toucher. Heard. All right, concealed courtyard. We like this. We like you that they say, as they would say. Now we can actually play this rumor gatherer. You don't fly, right? Okay, cool. Flying too good. Flying OP confirmed. And then let's go ahead and play this rumor gatherer, who's hopefully gonna scry us some cards. And if we can get a Coco, we might actually get to uh, draw some cards, but Arthalia stopping our, our Coco from being a thing. Yep, just a lot of Death Touchers. Just a lot of Death Touchers right now. I get it. All right. Yeah, I think we play another Rumor Gatherer. Now we're like really scrying stuff. Let me put that to the bottom. Hey, we're, 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 we're taxing. We're doing what we came here to do. And it's not, not working. All right, opponent. What is your spell this turn? Season of growth. Okay, cool card. Cool card, not the worst card at all. Well, we need to start making some decisions here. All right, they said we're, we're just gonna draw it. Fair enough. Another Archon is kind of funny. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, I think we'll do that. So like, like one of those, just in case they do happen to have something for it. We'll just really stop them from doing things. And put that at the bottom. Oh, actually, I kind of like that up top. But actually, I think we would go bottom. We get an action right. Camball's pretty great. They're not really playing non-creature spells. So I'm actually okay with putting them at the bottom too. And then go to attacks. Think for two in the air. You know, they, what is it? They block one, two, three, four. We get one, two, three, four, five. That survives. I think we just keep going like this. It's not not working. We get four in the air. Next turn, they block two, four, six, eight, two, three. Yeah. Ooh, 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 that hurts. That's gonna, that's gonna ouchie me. That's gonna ouchie me. But, you know, we still have good blocks, which is nice. Not enough to get what is it? if they attack all out we lose eight they gain eight like that's that's not nothing but we're able to pretty much clear out their board if they do do that okay so play this 
No need for that. So we have four in the air. They can block one, two, three, four, five. They can block one, two, three, four, five. We get in for an extra one. Oh, this is hard. These stay alive no matter what, basically. But they basically have to block with everything else. We go to attacks. Definitely send these. Um, we probably should have played an Elvish Mystic before we did this so that we could get this. But it does be like that, I believe. I believe even send in that. And this, because this blocks, that's that's more damage getting through. Okay, I think we just Alpha Strike. They block. Alright, massive for blockers. I think as if they when they kill these, because they're inevitably gonna kill, they're gonna have to kill the voices of resurgence or they die. Uh, we have blockers. Then we have another creature we can play. I should have played that first so that we could get a uh, homegirl out. So that we could actually get the scry on. But that's that's fine. Now block some of these. Okay. Five, six, seven. Okay. Well, they don't go down to one because they're also going to gain some life here. So if they're going to do some BS that like... Okay, so this is nice actually. Up to two creatures. Okay, so they're using that to draw a card. But we, oh, that's actually really good for us. We're going to get some, some guys. Um, I'm actually okay with that going to the bottom, I think. Another Thalia is pretty sweet. I think we can put that at the bottom. And then now we just get to draw cards. Oh, that Declaration of Stone is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're about to win the game. <laughs> We're about to win the game, y'all. That Declaration of Stone's real nice. Yep, make another one. Let's go ahead and white. Just get rid of those. Just get rid, just get rid of both of them. There we go. That, that was a good draw right there. Come on, Rumor Gatherer. You cheeky bugger. Yep. <laughs> Crack those clues. Sweet deck, though. I could see this being a really cool, like, budget deck for, for people getting into the game. I mean, Death Touch is great, right? Yeah. There we go. Sideboard. Sideboard. Like, maybe you just thought these, but I think we just run it back. I think everything else was just fine. I kind of like the lifelink on Hushbringer just because they're going to be messing with our life. So I'm going to bring in two of these and take out... The wedding announcement, which is fun. Oh, but it's, it's good for blockers, though. It's really good for making blockers. They got a rumor gatherer, even though they kind of save our hide. And let's take out a cam ball. They weren't, I mean, I guess they were playing some stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to run it like that. Okay, so no turn one, but Thalia into Archon's pretty great. And I do like the declaration. And we we can draw a dork like it's definitely not impossible for us to draw a dork here okay and there we go starting off strong with the death touch yep, no reason to shock that in and we'll go ahead and pass the turn i think that archon was pretty clutch though because it stopped them from going one drop one drop one drop you know from doing that so it really slowed them down to a point where we could stabilize yep are they gonna do another one drop yeah see that's why the archon was pretty sweet yeah, I think our best bet right here is Thalia, mostly just to, um, what's it, do you say, um, get that first strike there. So now we can just kill whatever they attack us with. I mean, they can get in for the other stuff. But yeah, actually Archon turn two is probably our best play because it stops this from happening with, you know, one drop, one drop, one drop city. We could have also maybe Declaration of Stone, the vampire. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I didn't think about that for a second. We can, what we can do next turn is do a little if they attack block and then declaration. Yeah, I see like that sucks, but we can get that with Skyclave Apparition. Ooh, opponent. I don't know. I don't know if that was the play, my friend. I think what we do is we take the two and we take the Skyclave Apparition right here. And get rid of that. Next turn we can declaration that. Opponent has three cards. We got we got options. My favorite part. We got them options. All right. Opponent going in. They're probably doing that that uh, you know, if they um, what's it called? If they deal damage, they draw a card. 
Nope, nope. They're just trying to get in. Understandable. Nice. So let's go green for Lana War. So we're gonna go to combat. Swing, swing. And then we'll go white. And declaration in stone. Oh, good thing I. Oh, I forgot my Thalia. Ooh, ooh. Almost messed that one up again. Thalia affects everyone, y'all. And our opponent's in a position where they definitely have some clues, but um, I don't know what they can do to uh, mitigate what's going on here. Looks like they can crack their clues, start looking. We'll get this Archon out, and uh, can we do both? One, two, three. Yeah, we can get both out. We can get the Voice of Resurgence as well. So we'll go Voice into Archon. Yep, and well, there we just win the game. There you go. Good game, opponent. All right, and we finally win a die roll. We will choose to play first, going into uh, match four here. Testing out my casual death and taxes deck. A lot of fun. Haven't got to play a collective company. Apparently, we're not going to get to play a collective company uh, on this game. You know, it's, we're going to mulligan that away. Um, a collective company, yay. Love that for us. Go ahead and keep, and I actually think I might want to get rid of this rumor gatherer. And let's go from there. All right. There, Temple Garden, we will pay because we are on track to get that Coco. More importantly, a turn to Archon. Just devastating. Let's see if the elf survives. Oop. Okay, the elf survives. Let's go. Another elf is nice. But I think. I think, ooh, but Elf gets his collected company. I don't think they're gonna be playing two spells right now, so I think we go Elf. And then we attack. Like, Archon is so good, but I think Gruul isn't gonna be playing two spells this turn. Double Bolt. Ooh, Teamer. Watch me eat my hat. Ooh, Runaway Steamkin. Good, good card. Definitely something I don't mind getting out here in a second. Now, I think Archon might actually be the right play. Um, because they might want to be storming off is kind of what it looks like they're wanting to do. What I want to play is Collected Company so bad because we haven't got to Coco this game yet. I think the correct call is to Archon and stop the storm from happening. The opponent is thinking. They're like, you, you little, you cheeky bugger. That's, that's not, I wanted to Steamkin. <laughs> just like a Teamer Elementals, that would be cool. Yeah, it's like Teamer Elementals. Oh, let's go, that's cute. I like it. When it attacks, choose another Elemental card from your graveyard with less toughness, then it returns to the battlefield. Oh, that's cool. That's neat, opponent. While it is tempting, I think what I wanna do is let's let's do it because we haven't got to cast one yet let's cast it let's see what the heck is up actually nothing that really matters <laughs> immediately for so our first coco and it's kind of meh it's kind of it's pretty mid if you ask me we're gonna go voice resurgence and thalia um yeah we're gonna use those two and the rest we can put back in anywhere it don't, it don't matter no there's we could have we could have stopped something really big with a skyclave, but instead we got a Thalia, which probably won't matter, and a, a, a voice resurgence. We have nothing nothing but removal in the sideboard. An opponent scoops it up. Um, they are just as annoyed um, as we are. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, containment priest can really stop that that um, that thing. Cause I don't think we need to do rest in peace per se when we can just containment priest. We could bring in the rest in peace as well. Uh, creatures entering the battlefield. Flamekins, when you do I don't see, I don't know. I think we're just going to bring those in. And let's cut a voice of resurgence because I don't think they're going to be playing stuff on our turn. And let's cut. We haven't got to see some of our fun ones yet. Um, the Decoration Stone is really good. Wedding announcement probably can just go. I think it's a cool card. There's probably a deck to be built around it, it just, as a one of. It's just kind of silly right now. All right, Containment Priest, pretty nice. Thalia, pretty good. Camball, there's no way to ramp. We do get our colors, but there's no no way to ramp. Um, I think we're going to keep and see how this goes. 
drawing a dork would be the best. Okay, you can play a land and pass. Come on, dork. Come on, dork. Not a dork. That's okay. We'll go ahead and play the Temple Garden. No need to pay the two life. We'll pass the turn. Actually, we probably could have just taken the cam balls out. I didn't even think about that. Just take cam ball out. Yep. Good for you, opponent. Okay. Go ahead and get out this blooming mosh. Dolly out here to block you. Because, you know, first strike. All right. Let's see what opponents got. Do they have a thing? Do they have a kill spell? They have a beardy. Oh, opponent definitely trying to storm off, do some fun stuff. I respect it. Truly, I do. So, for that, I think we're going to go ahead and play Cannonball. So if you do try to storm off, you have a bad time with it. And this could have been cool, too. I don't know. Are they doing something with Grinning Ingus? Is Grinning Ingus a thing? Are they doing it? Maybe containment. If they show me a Grinning Ingus, I'm going to freak out. Elvish Mystic. Make a red. Doesn't empty this turn. Thank you, MTGO. Appreciate that. We forget sometimes. Grinning Ingus. What? Oh, you going infinite? So return and they add three. Oh, do they just... No, so they don't go infinite. Oh, because they have to pay a red. And so next turn they go infinite. Okay, that's cute. Let's see if we can make that not happen. Um, play this on white. Oh, we don't have enough. No, we don't have, we don't have enough. Oh, we can t containment priest, I guess. Oh no, okay. Are they, oh, I, I just see how this works. So they can go infinite now, right? Cause they pay the red, they return it, they get red, something, something. And they play it for that amount and they make a red. And so next turn, they can go back and forth, but I don't think they're adding any any mana. I don't I don't think they're mana positive just yet. What, what do they need to do to become mana positive with Grinning Ingus? I know you need Berkey. You can like unlimitedly play it, right? Like you can, you can get the storm up, but there's no storm cards in Pioneer that I know of. Um, Hazaret's Monument, okay. So now they're mana positive. Now they're mana positive and they're doing some silly stuff. Okay, like an Archon or something like that would be really cool right now. If a non to creature went in the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it. Okay, so we can't play that with Collected Company. That doesn't work. Why would I put those cards together? I'm realizing the error of my ways, just so y'all know. My, my deck just literally works against me as well. Okay, we gotta hit something to kill this birdie. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, let's go. These are oh fine pieces. These are this is this is it right here. That's the stuff. Now the question is, yeah, I'm pretty sure we get the birdie because they can. Yeah, because that just makes the mana. So we get the birdie. Now opponent can only cast one spell a turn. Yeah, no attacks on my turn, and we'll pass. Well, that was a delicious collected company right there. The Archon and the Skyclave. Whoo, sheesh, as they say. And I think that's one of the things that makes this uh, deck really cool right now. Is like I said, against spell-based decks, it just, it does so, so much. And I think we can attack with Camball. Because if, if, if worst case comes to worst, let's play another one. All right, opponent making some decisions. All right, let's go to attacks. I think we can attack with the cam ball. Like I said, if they want to like block and we can kill something, great. We'll just play another one. Ooh, fancy. You get your own collector coming. Look at you. Cam ball trigger. Hopefully nothing that flies. Oh, we should have containment priest. Can they make their selections and then we containment priest? That would be so funny. I think we messed up. We were supposed, oh, we were supposed to containment priest before that. Oh, we're silly. Oh, uh, we messed that one up, too. Yeah, we messed that up. We were supposed to Containment Priest right there. I completely forgot. Silly me. That would have been big. That would have been big. Um, this isn't, like, the worst, but it's definitely not the best case scenario. Ugh. It would have been so much better. Oh, that Containment Priest right there would have been so funny. Oh, it would have been so good. 
good. I'm now, now I'm mad. Now I'm mad that I messed up, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's good. Look at you, opponent. You found the answer. Yep. Can't counter that. I'm thinking almost like selfless spirit might be good in something like this, right? Help us, you know, protection from stuff like that and board wipes. Okay. Now do you go infinite? Now they get to do a bunch of stuff. Okay. We're going to, we are chilling. We are passing until this containment priest becomes relevant to anything. Who knows? All right. So these, these guys get to get really big now. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure opponent can go infinite. I don't know how this deck wins is the thing. So I don't know if we can actually disrupt it into the battlefield. Okay. And they get to cast it. So that's fine. I am near this deck. This combo. Yeah, I'm looking up to see how this deck wins. All right, we'll get to fast forward this. So what's the winning? Is it light up the night? Okay. The light up the night is the win, I guess. I think I think they get it here. Okay. We'll go ahead and concede. Because yeah, I don't think there's any way to stop that. There's definitely ways in the sideboard to like do some stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Um Thought seeds is good. We'll bring those in. And Assassin's Trophy is pretty good too, because that means we can get rid of the um, Hazaret's Monument. Uh, creatures entering the battlefield or dying don't cause. That's pretty good too, right? Because that means Birgi. The Birgi is whenever you cast a spell. So no, that one's a cast a spell. The Containment Priests can be good for their collected companies. Um, as long as they just don't mess up ours, right? Um... Springer's pretty nice. Do we need all three Thalias? Ah, uh, we can probably cut a Thalia. We can probably cut all the cam balls. Right like that. We can definitely play first. We can get like I said, Archon turn two is like the dream. Oh, hold on one second, y'all be right back. Let's have some fun. Yo, speaking of, someone just got here. Also, Hushbringer, pretty great. Not Archon of Ameria, but Oh, I don't know about this. What's up, everyone? Say hello, Matt. Oh, hello, Matt. <laughs> My buddy, Matt. You don't need headphones. We're, we're recording. We're not live or anything, uh, so we're just chilling. Uh, I'm playing a Death and Taxes build, and I'm deciding on this hand. I love Land of Worlds, um, but I don't think this is the one. We need, like, Ar Archon of Ameria. That's really good, but we don't have any way to ramp into it. I'm still going to go ahead and keep this and pitch this Containment Priest. And we're going to keep that. So are you familiar with death and taxes? Uh, I am not. So well, it is. Uh, the usual. <laughs> right, right. Except, except for the ones you can't escape, right? Yeah. Um, so the object of this deck is to basically use effects that stall out our opponents so much mm -hmm. that we can just overtake them. So Archon of Ameria, big, because each player can, can't cast more than one spell each turn. Um, this is big, actually, because we are literally playing a combo deck that is trying to infinitely cast um, this creature that makes infinite mana and stuff like that. Yeah. So I was really looking for one of these in my opening hand, and we have one. Um, the hard part is usually we want to try to uh, land a war elves it and get it on turn two, which we didn't get, but that's okay. We're going to definitely get it on turn three. So we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. Opponent's going to get a good setup. But ne but because we were on the play, we're kind of ahead because we get to play this before they can really have enough time to go off. So yeah, this is just a deck that I thought was really neat. I saw some people playing stuff like this, and I was like, I'm going to do my own version of it yeah. in Pioneer. So that's what we're doing here. Matt, um, my friend here is, and that's one of their combo pieces. So it's a good thing we are getting ready to deal with them. Um... My buddy Matt here is coming over so we can test out some Pioneer decks um, and see what I'm going to be playing. Um, just for funsies. Blue. Um, to see what I'm going to be playing for my local uh, regional pro tour qualify Something. The RCQ. Whatever it's called. Um, have a good time. Matt, you're uh, mostly a popper player, right? Yeah, pretty much at this kind of low, uh, low maintenance. I'm going to bring that over so we can make sure and pick you up. So there's Risen Reef. All right. I'm just getting into it. I'm very yeah. much a rookie still. Yeah, well, I love uh, getting games in with you, and I appreciate you coming by to play, catching me. Kind of like I said, just right at the end, <laughs> making sure that we can show off this deck's full potential. So a land would be big. Oh, it's a land, but it's a tap land, because uh, we could have played this Collected Company. 
which is pretty sweet. So what I think I'm actually gonna do is set us up here. So Collector Company basically gives us uh, free stuff. And we look at the top six and we pick two creatures with mana value three or less. Everything in our deck is three or less. Um, and so we get, and we just put yeah. them on the battlefield. Great, yeah. So that's why this deck, you know, we're, we're taxing ourselves too with this one, but we're making our one spells count more than their one spell, right? Yeah, like this absolutely. collective company gets us two creatures for creatures. one spell. Yeah, two for one. Right, while slowing them down. And I play this one because, okay, so there's a runaway Steamkin, which again, like this, like they have their combo pieces, they just can't do yeah. the combo while they can only cast one spell per turn. And what's good is we also have removal, so like Declaration of Stones, removal. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go off this Collective Company and see what we get. Um, now usually Collective Company, because it's an instant, you wanna play it on your opponent's turn, um, but we're gonna play it on our turn because um, we want our taxing effects to to start, you know, essentially right now. Yeah, I got so you. we're gonna do this in our main phase and see what we can get. Well, we only hit one thing, but it's a really good one. So this one lets us, um, yeah, I'll put these back in any order. So we get to scry one because of this to apparition. So we are gonna get rid of the steamkin because this is what helps them make yeah. additional mana. Yeah, because every time they cast a spell, this gets a counter and then they can remove three counters and make three red mana. So that's yeah. one of the, like I said, one of the combo pieces and we'll get to scry, see what's coming up. Thought is actually kind of nice because yeah. we can mess up their hand, whatever they have, uh, just kind of get rid of it. So I actually think we're just gonna keep that on top. And like I said, slowly but surely, um, just try to win this game. <laughs> Rending volley, ouch, that does hurt. So that's a problem. Yeah. Um, because now that we're tapped out, I would have another Archon, um, but now they can just go off if they have all the pieces. So we're gonna see if opponent has the pieces, y'all. And there's their collected company. So they're gonna go see if yeah. uh, they can get their pieces right here. So I'm, I'm definitely glad we got the Steamkin there. But um, as I'm learning this deck, we maybe could have played a little bit more reactively. So there's one of their pieces, Grinning Ingus. Because yeah. um, this one, so for one red, you return it, and you make uh, generic, generic, and red. Okay, yeah. uh, Colorless, colorless, red. And so then, then if you have things that can make you mana positive, you can go infinite. Just, just loop them. Yep. And this makes their red creatures cost one less. So I do think they can make infinite colorless mana, actually. Yeah. Um, cause this is going to cost three, four to bring back. It cost three to bring, it cost one red to bring back. And, oh, oh yeah, they definitely got the combo. Cause Beargy says whenever they cast a spell, they get one red. Yeah. So they can definitely go infinite. Yeah. And then because this guy's an elemental, the problem with that is this lets them filter through their deck. And so does this. Cause every time they cast a red spell, they can discard a card and then draw a card. So what they do is they go and they get their one copy of Light Up the Night, which is basically a fireball effect that they pay, you know, infinite into, and they yeah, infinitely yeah, dome us. Yeah, they, they got us there. So we're gonna concede there. And oh, uh, now I'm embarrassed in front of my friends. Look what you did to me, opponent. Nope, but we'll talk about the deck later. Um, we got one more match in us. All right, and we are back at it with uh, match number five. Um, played some popper with my buddy Matt, uh, test out some pioneer decks, had a good time. And now back just to finish up uh, the last of this deck. You know, we like to um, usually play about five games, see how it goes. And um, yeah, we're going into match number five with Abzan um, DNT. And this is not looking like the hand. A Gigantha is revealed. Hmm. And they're gonna begin with seven. Yeah, hate that. Let's go ahead and mulligan. Oh, love all the cards here. Um, need absolutely need a a um a land. So yeah, we're gonna mulligan that as well. Oh god, it's all just the it's just the worst. Worst. Put two cards. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be a hard time. No, no, not again. Not like this. Campbell's really good in this matchup, but um. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be good. Not going to be good for us. Opponent's going to opt. Yeah, this is where, like, a fast cam ball would have been mwah, Trey Magnifique, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. And there we go. So it looks like we're looking at Is It, um, the Is It, um, what's it, D say, um, Prowess. 
Ooh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I think we're going to shock this in. So we can get rid of young Pyromancer. And then hopefully last long enough to get this cam ball out. We can start doing some damage to opponent. I think our deck does well against specifically this kind of deck. Um, but we had some some bad openers. Let's see if we can get some more mana. Yep, there's Ledger Shredder. Another really good card. An opponent going to cantrip and connive. Yep, Spikefield has it their own thing. Gotta love it. What a guy. All right, though, that's not another land, so we're gonna we're gonna do what we know how to do. Declare that in stone, and we'll pass the turn. Don't love giving our opponent uh, clues, but I mean that's where we're at. Of oh, hard cast of one mind. Opponent get desperate here. Love that for us. Oh, please be a land. Please be a land. Of course. Oh, oh, it's it's not a tap land. Uh. They have smiled upon us today. And we can resolve a cam ball. Let's go. That's the turn. What a glow up. I'm telling you. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. All right, Ledger Shredder. Strangle. Ouch, that hurts. Hurts them, but really hurts us. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, bless me. Yeah, I don't love that. But I accept it as part of the game. Right, come on, land. I don't know. Voice research doesn't suck. Um, definitely not the worst thing. Stops them from casting stuff on our turn. So I think we'll go ahead and go green, white. Oh, do we want to play Torrens? We really haven't got to see Torrens do their thing. So let's let's play Torrens. Why not? Let's get a wide board going. All right, and then we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Opponent, wow, just all the answers. Yeah, if we could have gotten out quicker, it might have been nice, but it be like that. And there's the treasure cruise. It's not looking good for our heroes. Yeah, I love, I love Is It Prowess. So, like, respect. I mean, I also hate it, but, you know, I hate it right now. But as when I play it, it's really great. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just concede here. Really not much we can do, um, even with the voice resurgence. So let's go ahead and go to sideboarding and get this bread. Um, so rest in peace, not re well, rest in peace relevant. It does does stop their treasure cruises. And that might just be enough to bring them in. I think we can cut a rumor, rumor gatherer, excuse me, wedding uh, announcement. And one other thing. Thalia's great. Declaration, great. Archon, great. Oh, just great cards. Um, let's get rid of... Maybe just the other rumor gatherer and just hope we get there. Hmm, this is... I mean, it's like all cards we want to see. But I don't think it's fast enough. So we're going to mulligan. Okay. I like the Archon on too. Like, that's solid. We pretty much have all the colors we want. So I think we can get rid of the Mana Confluence. Yeah, I, I kind of love this. There you go, Bloom and Marsh. Play the Mystic. Ask the turn. If they kill it, ouchie. If they don't kill it, uh, Archon, right? And let's go, Archon. There you go, opponent. You get your one spell this turn. And I bet you it's a Strangle. <laughs> it's always a Strangle. A Selfless Spirit. Maybe the new sideboard card we need. All right, our turn. Ooh, Collected Company is pretty, as the kids say, pretty poggers. So we'll go to combat and attack for two. And damage. Yep, yeah, I think we just pass. Opponent plays, I guess they only play one spell. There's their consider. Uh, I kind of want a Coco, but because like Thalia like, can like throw them off and stuff. I don't know. Let, let's, let's see what they get. Because if we get like a the Skyclave Apparition, there's no target. So yeah, we the, yeah, the correct answer is... Correct answer is pretty much always Coco at the last moment. Okay, shocking it in. They got something they want to play. Ledger Shredder is a good one. Okay, let's go ahead and go green. Two, three. Elected Company. Nice. Another Archon. Check the Archon at all costs. Voice of Resurgence. Let's go. Oof. Oof. We love it. We love that. And you know what? Let's even go a step. Let's just let's just really ruin their day. 
Yeah, opponent just scoops that one up. They're like, nope, can't play through all of that. Um, so good for us. I think we just run it back. That worked out really well. Thoughtseize, maybe not the worst, but I think that'll be just fine. If we can get a keepable hand that gets us uh, down and dirty real quick, then we'll be good to go. Yeah. I mean, oh man, but like, there's no payoff. The rest in peace is good, but there's no Archon. There's no, you know, Mystic, rest in peace, good. Mystic, Voice of Resurgence is good, but uh, I think we need to see one of our stacks pieces. Oh, I'm going to get greedy. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Well, there's it is. It's just, there's no way to go fast. Uh, I hate it. Come on, draw a dork, draw a dork, draw a dork. And these Archons are so good in this matchup. Seeing two of them is like just mwah. All right, opponent goes turn one monastery Swift sphere. Nice. You love to see it, especially that cute one. Look at them with their fancy, their fancy schmancy cards. Good for you, opponent. You deserve it. Not the worst thing. Not the worst thing. Gives us something to do on turn two, and we'll pass the turn. Oh man, play another Swift sphere. Come on, you know you want to. Opt. Nice. All right, come on, play another Swiss Fear. You know you want to. Just, just oh, okay, Soul Scar Mage. Fair enough. All right, our turn. Courtyard. Well, we know we have a Coco coming up. Um, I think it's fine. Just declaring in stone. Gotta stop this pressure. They're gonna go fast. We gotta stay the bleeding. I will say I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. Um, I definitely think it's something that can be explored and should be explored and. It's going to look, just look forward to with new printing. As they print new cards, I feel like there's just going to be more stacks, quote unquote stacks slash um, death and taxes effects. So definitely, I say look for it. Yep, get in for one. All right, let's get this Archon out. Oh my gosh. Well, there we do play four of them. All right, opponent, let's see what you got. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's the answer, isn't it? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Ouchie. Okay, opponent no longer has a card in their hand. So that's, that's nice. Uh, let's play another Archon. And we are going to sit on these Archons until we can't sit anymore. Another Ledger Shredder. Not bad, opponent. We do kind of... Stop, yep. Ooh, Campbell's so good right here. Actually, I think that's the call. As much as I want to play that, um, this can get us, like if they start trying to draw cards and do stuff. Yeah, Campbell's pretty sweet. All right, let's slow him down. <laughs> okay. Hey, you're going to do what you got to do, right, opponent? And if they try to kill something, we have another Archon. Yep, so we're going to gain some life, prowess. I was kind of saw this coming. They're gonna go on the Archon. That's fine. Young Pirate. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I still feel like we needed to block there, but um, that that sucks. That definitely sucks. And yeah. So we go to rest in peace. That way we don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. And then wait, wait for Archon. Oh shoot. I forgot. It's on our turn, too. That was silly. What a, si what a silly dude am I. Okay, well, they just get lands. Yep. Pass the turn. All right, opponents top decking. But, uh, they're, they're doing okay. Opt, Camball, get some life. A lot of triggers on the stack. A lot of triggers on the stack. Well, that's their, that's their spell this turn. It's not nothing. Yep. I feel you, opponent. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let's block now. So we block. Young Peasy, get him out of here. Anything else we can kill? No. So we block two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it hurts. That does hurt. Torrens. I think to stop stuff from getting worse. You know what? I think we wait still. I think we can wait. They only get one spell. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Fair enough. 
We're gonna do it. Let's get... Oh, these voices are gonna be sick for blocking. Actually, I want another Archon too, so we can block up top. That's pretty good. So let's see. Block one of these to kill it. One, two. I think that's the way. All right, they're choosing their, their order. Play with fire. Yep, take some life, do some damage. That's actually not a bad thing for this. Okay. That ledger shredder is going to live. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much everything gets to live there. Oh, our... Oh, we don't get our thing because the rest in peace. Silly Jake. Silly Jake. We don't get the... It doesn't die. It doesn't die. It just gets exiled. Um. Oh, we're just so... We're so close. Oh, wait, hold on. Tap this one for green. <laughs> and another one. Play Torrens. I don't know how we get out of this. We just block. We can block this one up here. Take three. Block, block, block. Yeah, it's pretty much just chill out. Hope opponent doesn't kill us first. <laughs> okay, I don't mind that at all. I don't know if that's the play opponent. It's going to get us that life. I, mean, I guess they're they're trying to draw into like the finisher, but okay. Yeah, giving us life might have not been super great. A braid on Cambal Cambal. They're gonna kill the Archon. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> it's very bad. Takes us up to nine. It's nice. Four. What else you got opponent? Young Pirate. That's bad. Okay, yeah. Opponent did the digging and it came up good. So let's see, that's four, five, six, five, six, block, block, seven. Not a lot of ways we're going to be winning this one. I think it is attack up top. Yeah. We need declaration in stone. Even then, I think we're still kind of losing. Go down to three. Ugh. Yeah, and that is good game. Castalia. Does make a 1-1, but, um, yeah, opponent just has it in the air. So, GG opponent. Not, not, not a bad matchup. That was, that was close. That was close. Uh, yeah, we take that. That was fun. All right. Well, I'm going to talk about the deck, and I'll see y'all at that wrap-up. All right. So, this deck went 2-3 and three in our testing today. Had a lot of fun with it. A lot of cool stuff coming in. Um, when You know, the Land of War Elves and Elvish Mystic uh, powering out Collective Company is really great in theory. Um, what I actually saw happen more often than not was Land of War Elves pumping out that Archon of Ameria on turn 2, which was uh, even better. Um, Collective Company doing great stuff. I could see there being a version deck without Collective Company, just going straight up creatures. Um, and doing some fun stuff with that but I like the deck a lot I think um, death and taxes is definitely something that people are going to look into people like playing it and it's just like one or two pieces away from being really strong um, I really did enjoy cam ball in a lot of matchups having uh, you know this oh bad gateway Having Camball um, really did a lot of work in a lot of matchups. Um, even just that last matchup we saw against Prowess, um, getting able to gain life, sustain us. We didn't able to get the win, but it definitely can help us out there. Um, Torrens didn't really see a lot of him, didn't uh, see much. He was kind of my finisher, quote unquote, being able to make extra copies. Maybe a third copy would have been great. Uh, maybe we just cut him in general and play something else. So I would love to hear what you think about the deck down in the comments. Go ahead and go down there and tell me what you thought of the deck, what you thought of our games, and how you you think that it could be improved as always um, you know what to do make sure you hit that like button uh, make sure you subscribe for more content and anything like that helps us out appreciate you thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure that you give this video a like make sure you go down there subscribe and while you're down there go ahead and leave a comment just tell me what's up of course you can always write go silly goose gang like we always do or you can tell me how you would take the deck in direction what you play just your thoughts on the deck in general as always, this video is made possible thanks to the people over on Patreon who support me. If you want to become a patron for as low as a dollar a month, go over to patreon.com slash casual underscore Jake underscore, where you can see all the benefits of joining the casual crew. Thank you to Jake Hudson, Bridger, also an elk, Virgil, Gayen Senvirantna, 
Riotta Ortiz, as well as Ryan Cross, and hopefully we can get some more names over here on the Casual Crew. As always, I'm Casual Jake, reminding you, don't forget to play your land drops, and I'll see you next time.